DJ Pro has an amazing looper feature, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the looper in the app for the Mac. So to access your looper, you're going to have to use one of the expansions that the app has. That's how they were able to fit so many amazing features. So up here to the top, up here to the top right, we have some features, and then up here to the top left, we have some features as well. We are gonna press this one. It's kind of like a play symbol. Press that, and then it is gonna open our sampler and looper. You may be in the sampler, but if you press this icon over here to the right, then you will be in your looper. So this is the looper. This is what it looks like. And there are a bunch of different things that you can do. It is for you to make your own beats. You could, you, you can make a beat and scratch to it. You can make a beat and add vocals. You could really let your creativity run wild. They have some really good libraries of different styles of music. So let's start over here to the left. The play button is gonna turn it off, or if you have some selected, then it is gonna turn it off. We get a volume slider, you could you could control the volume. This controls the volume, volume for all of them. There is a way to control the volume for the individual ones, I'll get to that. So here is our BPM. You could raise and lower the BPM. It is going to sync. If you have sync on, it is gonna sync with the song that is playing, so you don't have to worry about it, but you could also make it faster or slower with, you could also adjust the BPM with this drop down menu. Now over here is the fun part. This is where we get to our looper packs. So you press the drop down menu, you'll see some looper packs. You could download more. I had them all downloaded on my iPad. I didn't do it yet on my laptop, but there are so many amazing ones I recommend loading all of them up, seeing what they sound like, what they do, and getting a feel for them. This way, when you're ready to use them, you will know what it does. That's how you select your looper pack. And then over here is how you control uh, your volume. So you can control the volume of each individual track. So if you want one part of the loop to be louder, let's say if you want the effects to be louder, you could have that, and then you can lower the bass. You could really mix them in and really have fun while doing it. Next, you could press this button, and then this makes it smaller, so you only get two for each for each column. You only get two, but you get a bigger view of your library. So if you don't want to have your view that limited, but you still want to use the looper, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it expanded for now. So to make a beat with the looper, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press one of these buttons. So to the left is usually gonna be like a kick drum, and then the second one's gonna be like a hi-hat or hi-hat, a snee snare or claps, and then the third one is going to be similar to that. So if you wanna make a quick beat, you could just do one of the first ones. So there you go. Then the next one's usually gonna be bass, so you could get the drums going, get the bass going. Depending on which type of looper pack you're using, there's gonna be like effects and then kind of rhythms and maybe choruses and stuff like that. And then all the way to the right is gonna be vocals if that looper pack has vocals in them. So some of the effects are gonna sound like this. Vocals. <laughs> So you could set a drum beat. And then to turn it off, you just press the play button. So you could record these to record. You could press record over here, start a new recording. Stop recording and then it's going to be saved. There is no copyright issues because technically you're making your own music with this. And then you could add scratching to it. You could add vocals from another track. You could record your own vocals or you could use the amazing sampler feature. There are a whole bunch of different sampler packs and you could add samples on top of the looper and kind of make like your own, kind of make it your own track. And if you wanna learn how to use the sampler in this amazing app for the Mac, check out this video over here. Thank you.